Hello, Mr. Geislart here, and today we're going to talk a little bit about right triangles. Specifically, we're going to start off with talking about triangles that are similar triangles, and let's remember what that means. If triangles are similar, that means that the ratios of their corresponding sides are equal, and it means that the corresponding angles are equal. So the first thing we're going to do is look at this diagram and see if we can determine if this is made up of our similar triangles. So the first thing I'm going to do is if we mark this angle here, notice that that angle there is the same angle in all the triangles. Also notice that you have a right angle in each one of the other triangles. So all these triangles are similar by angle angle. If the triangles are similar, then what we need to do is look at the ratios of the corresponding sides. So I'm going to take and look at the ratio of the smallest triangle and that two sides. So that would be 3 over 5. Then I can take a look at the ratios of the sides of the next smallest triangle, which would be 6 over 10. But 6 over 10 reduces to 3 over 5. And we can continue to do this for the other triangles. The next one we would have 9 over 15, which also reduces to 3 over 5. And then lastly, we can do 12 over 20, which also reduces to 3 over 5. So in these triangles, as long as the angle that is given in this angle down here, as long as this angle is the same in all of these triangles, that means that the ratios of the corresponding sides will all be the same, no matter how big the triangle is. Now, the important thing with this is we have to make sure we have the corresponding sides in the same place, meaning that if I chose to do 3 over 5, I'm doing the smaller side over the bigger side each time. If I tried to switch that around and did, say, in this one, 10 over 6, then it no longer appears to be similar because the ratios are different. So we have to make sure we can come up with a way to know that this is always in the right spot, that we have the right side on top or the right side on bottom. In order to do that, what we do is we have to identify a reference angle. In other words, the angle where we're starting from. That usually will be using the letter theta, or we could have an X there or just angle one, or it could just be marked, but somehow an angle will be marked. From that angle, we have to be able to identify the different parts of the triangle. They're really broken down into three different parts. The first part is the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse here is always opposite from the right angle. So when I find that, I always want to draw a line that goes through that right angle and then it points to the hypotenuse. The two legs are the two sides that are not the hypotenuse. Those are the two sides that make up the right angle. Now, in order to figure out which is the one we call the opposite and which one we call the adjacent, the opposite side is away from the given angle. So the opposite side is always away from that. And then the adjacent side is the side that makes an angle with the hypotenuse. So the adjacent side makes the angle with the hypotenuse. The opposite side is away from the given angle. Now this picture is just very slightly different. In this one, the angle is up here, theta. Notice that the hypotenuse hasn't changed. It's still there. However, now the side that makes the angle, which gives us the adjacent side, is on top, and the side opposite or away from the angle is on the bottom. So you just have to be careful. You have to look at where the angle is in order to identify the adjacent and the opposite sides. So now I'm going to go through a couple of these. What you should probably do now is pause the video and see if you can identify which sides are the opposite, the adjacent, and the hypotenuse in each one. Then what you can do is play the video and see if you are correct. So I'm going to go through and label them right now. Starting up here, we have the right angle gives us the hypotenuse. The side opposite gives us the opposite side and adjacent makes the angle with the hypotenuse. So again, hypotenuse goes through the right angle, adjacent makes the angle with the hypotenuse, 
opposite is away. Hypotenuse, and then the side that makes the angle with the hypotenuse is the adjacent. The side away from is the opposite. Again, we have the hypotenuse, the adjacent, and the opposite. The hypotenuse, the adjacent, the opposite. The hypotenuse, the adjacent, and the opposite. Okay, this is just going to give you a little bit of a brief intro to what you're going to be doing next, which is called trigonometry. And you'll be working with um, something called sine, cosine, and tangent. But in order to do those, you'll need to first of all be able to identify what the opposite, the adjacent, and the hypotenuse is.